That's a great big one. I think. It's moving like a big one. Well, not bad. Oh, bang stick strikes again. Pretty good fish. Big fat pre-spawner. I'm staging on these points. Nice chunk. Bang stick. The new red line. Straight shank. Not a magnum, but fat little pre-spawn female. And they're just fishing this outside hydrilla edge. There's this lake rounds full of little pockets that they probably spawn in and then not much for offshore stuff. A uh, handful of points and a good hydrilla on them and just classic Florida rig. 3 16th slip sinker, bang stick, and a three out straight shank. It always gets bit in Florida. There's a big one. Decent one, anyways. Nice little hog on the bang stick. Moved up in here shallow. I'm pretty sure he was a, a bed fish. They pitched a little hole in the grass on the inside edge. Nice big head skinny. He looks like a big male to me. But that's the beauty with that rig. Let him go. Just that 3 sixteenths and a bang stick and we just caught one out deep off a deep hydrilla edge and come up shallow and caught a big one just pitching holes up shallow. So, I mean that rig right there in florida you can take catch bass on it just a black blue bang stick 3 16 weight you got this on 17 pound fluoro but you can do 15 or 20 and it's just a really good way to get bites no matter what's going on what the conditions are where they are in the um, stage of the spawn it's it just always catches fish in florida just a simple stick worm on a lightweight Pretty versatile too. You can. There's not too many spots you can't throw it, with the exception of you know punching heavy, heavy vegetation. That little rig. I've caught a lot of bass in Florida on that deal. Another nice thing with this Elastec stuff that I think you get a lot more bites on this versus a traditional stick worm just because of that flotation. You know, I'm fishing it fairly slow, just kind of pitching to any hole where there might be a bed or whatever, and shaking around and any you know. Any regular stick worm just kind of lays flat on the bottom and this with the Elastec, you know, that tail standing up and it's got them little appendages on the end of it that kind of quiver when you shake it and it just gives you a, a lot more action to a bait that you're not moving a whole lot, you know, I'm not doing anything crazy with it, just kind of pitching it in there and shaking it a little bit, but every time I move it, that worm's going to stand up and those little tentacles will kick, so. Nice little subtle action for some of these fish. And we don't know what we're dealing with. You know, some of these fish are pre-spawn, some are on beds, some might be garden fry. I'm just kind of anywhere there's a hole in this stuff. Pitching my worm to it and, you know, you dob enough holes, you're going to come across one. Pretty basic uh, equipment too. Just a, got this on a 7.3 medium heavy. Everybody's got one of them. 30 pound braid. I like the high vis when I'm worm fishing just a lot of times you're not you know in full contact with your worm like you are with a more so with a jig or whatever so i can if i'm letting it sit there for a while i can notice when one swims off with it and uh i got 17 pound lead around here but anything between 15 and 20 for straight floral or you can do this with straight braid too if you're getting some darker water but i always fish a braid Pretty dual eater. Like that little guy. But we're starting to get some more bites. He's peeing. Yeah, real simple setup. 316 slip sinker. I got it pegged. Three out uh, VMC red line straight shank. I like fishing a straight shank or a, a regular worm hook style with the Z-Man stuff versus a 
you know, I used to flip like a extra wide gap a lot. And uh, I prefer that. I don't like the parallel hook angle, hook point angle with the Elastec stuff. I like, you know, like a straight shank that's coming through like that or, you know, a regular worm hook's got a bit of an angle to it. So it wants to, you know, so as soon as you pull it, it wants to pierce versus bunching up like you would get with a extra wide gap hook where it's laying parallel to the surface of that worm. A little deal there catches them. Yeah, like I said, basic setup, 7.3 medium heavy, nothing fancy. I do like a high speed reel, just cause a lot of times they grab this bait and take off with it. You know, 30 pound braid, 17 liter, and pretty basic stuff, but it just, it works in Florida. I mean, it works everywhere, but it really gets you a lot of bites in Florida. They really like that stick worm style and then match it with the Elastec where it's standing up. I think it, I think it gets you a lot more bites. And I can throw it anywhere. I can fire it out on this point. I can skip it under a bush, a dock, pitch it up along a seawall, really good in the pads. I can kind of just take this bait and fish everything in front of me. This line's strong, dude. It's all jacked up. Still ain't breaking. Uh-oh. I didn't hit him that hard either. He's still on there. Feels decent. Yeah, nice. nice one. Don't break. Nice. Yeah, got me pinned up. Just held them tight. Went in there and got them. But another nice chunk. It's a male. Probably on a better garden fry. And I'm just going down here. I'm not. I think a lot of these fish are spawning or right around it, but I can't see them that good on these banks. I'm just anywhere it looks like there's a little hole where there might be a bed. I'm just taking this and pitching it in there and um you know not fishing it real long a few little shakes and a crawl and um just keeping it moving this time of year i mean there's just kind of constant waves of spawners so there's always going to be some fish up and around where they're going to spawn and a lot of fish kind of live shallow too so i can't visually see any of these but anywhere there's a little hole in the trees or the grass or whatever it may be i'm I'm taking that bang stick, pitching it in there, and you know, kind of just shaking it around and crawling it a little bit. The bites have been pretty quick. Anywhere it looks like there could be a bat, or even just you know, a hole in the grass, a fry guard will sit in that too, you know. So it looks good, drop a bait on it. <laughs> 